Hello, this is Logan with Lumberjack Tools. Today we're going to do an unboxing of the small log lock, the 1545, and we'll also do an assembly, and this assembly can apply to the large log lock, the 2580. Tools for assembly you'll need is a 1 16th inch Allen wrench, a 7 16th inch socket, this is a deep well socket, and a 9 16th inch deep well socket. Um, you'll need your socket wrench, and I like to use a crescent wrench for holding the bolts as well. Once the box is open, you'll find a clamp plate, a hardware kit, this we call the salmon ladder, and the base. So in the, in the manual on page four, you'll find a, a parts list of all the parts included in your kit. And you can verify that just as you take it apart, you'll see what's included. And if you're missing anything for some reason, you can call us right at our, our phone number. Okay, so the first step I like to do is just get all my parts organized. So as you follow the instructions, you're not searching for materials. So keep these small screws and lock nuts just a separate so they don't get mixed in with the bigger parts but then let's quickly separate material here so we know exactly what we have and we can verify that everything was included in the kit all right so the first step now in the manual on step one is attaching the salmon ladder or the fixture ladder to the fixture base so to do that it says right in the manual what parts you need. So you'll need these two bolts. You'll need your half in, or your three eighths inch washers and the three eighths inch nylock nuts. And then the picture you can see that these washers will go on the outside of the fixture. You don't need to put them on the inside. So we'll just start one one bolt at a time. And so we're just gonna do a, a loose tightening so we can get the other one started as well. So just get that nut started and then get your other bolt ready. So the washer goes on the outside part of this. Now both nuts are started. After you've hand tightened these nylock nuts onto the bolts here, you'll actually want to set your fixture upside down so that it's leaning on the ladder and that'll help keep it, as you tighten these up, it'll help keep everything straight. So now to tighten it, I'm going to use the 9 16 inch socket wrench and a crescent wrench to hold the, the nut here. So kind of just slide that onto your nut and that'll hold that in place. And then on the back here, I've got the head of the socket right over the bolt. And we'll just tighten that lefty-loosey, righty-tighty. And you'll just want to go till that snugs up. And you'll feel it start to have a little resistance. And then you can tighten up the other side as well. So, uh, you'll know that everything is snug in place because you'll be able to, to move this and it's not going to actually shift the ladder. Everything's going to be nice and secure. Ready? Okay, so the next step's a little tedious, but we're going to get these small button head screws and the nylock nuts in place on the clamp plate. And this is going to keep your, your handle from walking off as you tighten it down with material inside. So that's the purpose of these. So I'm going to need my 1 16th inch Allen wrench. We're just going to get these started by hand first before we use the tools. Then I'm going to use my crescent wrench to hold the nylock nut portion. And then we'll use the Allen wrench to get these snug. You just have to get them hand tight and you don't have to 
really, really wrenched on it. So that's good. I'm good. Yep, so now we're just putting the other screw on there and that feels pretty tight. For the next step here, we're gonna attach the clamp plate to the ladder fixture. And so the key to this is to make sure that the button head screws are facing up. You don't want to install it, the ladder upside down or that'll actually put marks into your material as the top of this isn't as smooth as the bottom. And so now to attach that, I'm going to use the, the long bolt here, the three and three quarter inch bolt. We're going to need the two oversized washers and the quarter inch uh, nine lock nut as well. So for that, we're going to need the seven sixteenths inch socket. And I'm going to use the crescent wrench here to hold the bolt in place. So we can just set this ladder right on the fixture. We don't have to hold it, thankfully. And then I'm going to get started by putting one washer on this bolt. And then we'll feed it through. There's a little hole here, so we'll go through the ladder and the hole in the clamp plate. And then we'll come through on the other side here. And we'll put the washer over, get the nut just started. And we'll, we just want to tighten this a little bit. We don't want to over tighten it or this clamp plate isn't going to go up and down smoothly. It's going to be really hard to move. So I'm going to hold on to the bolt head over here with my crescent wrench. And then we'll get just a couple, couple turns, really not that many. We just want to get it started. So that the nylock is engaged, but it's not overly tight. So let's just engage that just a little bit more so the nylock is truly holding on there. Yeah. And we can still move our ladder up and down, but it's, it's not too tight to where it's going to be hard to move. Okay, so the last step here, we're going to attach the carriage bolt and the handle to the log lock. So flip your clamp plate backwards so it's not interfering. And we'll need to tip the, the fixture on its side so we can feed the carriage bolt through the base. There's a, a, wrong, a long rectangular slot and that carriage bolt will fit directly in it. We can sit the fixture back up. And now we're going to need to use a one of the half inch washers. So let that go all the way down. There we go. And we'll need the spring. So that goes on next on top of the washer. Use your second washer. You can be mem memorized by the washer there. And then uh, get the, this is a jam nut. So the jam nut holds that all in place. So we'll spin that down. And all we're going to do is just get this hand tight. We don't need to grab a wrench for this, or you could um, damage your spring. And we also offer uh, a heavy duty version of the carriage bolt and handle um, for folks that use this in an industrial setting or commercial setting. This uh, standard um, UNF threading bolt and handle is, is great for everyday people. You don't have to worry about the heavy duty one, but that is an option. So now I'll just get it to where you can feel the spring compressing up against it, but you're still able to, if you have to, you can push this bolt down and that allows you to, to turn the bolt so you can maneuver it out of the, hand, the, the clamp plate's way. And the last step is just make sure that this can slide in easily and out of the handle or the clamp plate slot. And then um, let's get your handle started, but you don't have to go all the way down on the threading unless you're working with really small material. But I just get it started. So there's a little bit of thread in there, but it's not completely down at the bottom and you're ready to go. You can pull this in and out of the slot easily so you can adjust it to different material heights. The max height of material for this log block is four and a half inches. So that's, that's at the top of the ladder. And then another tip to remember is that when you engage this, the, the bolt on this clamp plate 
needs to be all the way engaged in these slots on the ladder. If it's if you're only like halfway in and you tighten it down, there's a, a chance that this could slip out while you're working with your material.